welcome back everyone and thank you for watching. In this video I decided to do a holiday makeup look with a dramatic winged liner, a little bit of shimmer on the lids, and that matte bright red lip. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and of course keep watching to see how I achieve the look. For this look, I'm starting out with my skin first, beginning with my primer. This is by Jouer and it is good for blemish prone skin, so I'm just going to pat that into my skin all over. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Longest Name Ever Foundation. Um, my color is Stromboli and I know it looks a little bit yellow on me here, but once I'm done with the contour and the highlight and everything, it normalizes to a more neutral shade, so I'm just going to um, stipple this into my skin with a beauty blender. And moving on to the concealer, I'm using the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Usually I just use uh, ginger, which is what I'm putting on here. But uh, first I'm gonna put on ginger, um, just because it has like a peachy undertone, so it'll cover any darkness. And then I'm going in with custard, just to add a little bit more brightness. Um, so then I'm gonna go back with my uh, Beauty Blender and just start blending this out. Just really stippling that into my skin so it creates a nice flawless finish. Now I'm really excited for the contour because I've been using something a little bit different. I am taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the stick form and I'm using Y505 and this has been so easy to use for contour because it is a stick and it's nice and creamy so I just go in and uh, apply this directly to my face, hollows in my cheeks, around my forehead, a little bit at my nose, you know the deal. And once I'm ready to blend this all out, I'm gonna take my Eco Tools stippling brush and just start blending this out in small circular motions and just really get that nice warm contour all over. To blend out my nose, I usually use a combination of the brush and my finger just so um, I get a nice precise contour. And just to soften up the contour a little bit, once I'm done blending this all out with the brush, I'm gonna go back in with uh, whatever foundation is left on my Beauty Blender and just go around and um, I guess kind of the borders of the contour, just soften them up and blend them out even more. All right, now to set, I'm using one of my favorites, the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Loose Powder. I'm going in with my Morphe brush and just setting pretty much everywhere I applied a little bit of that concealer. Moving on to the blush, I'm using this Jazzy Palette by Tarte. It is called their Bling It On uh, Blush Palette, and the color that I'm using is Beaming. As I'm applying the blush, I'm also sort of focusing on um, blending that with the contour as well. Of course, you want your contour and your blush to blend in really nice and seamlessly. Now, I do want to add a little more of a bronze glow to this look, so I'm going to take my Betty Luminizer, one of my favorites, and um, just kind of lightly dust this over the contour areas and then just other areas of my face too, just to kind of give it that warm bronzy glow. And since this is a holiday makeup look, I do want to add kind of a dramatic highlight. So I'm going to take my Galactic Face Glow in Luster and I'm going to apply this to the high points of my cheeks and you can see that beautiful glow developing. Um, this is more of a kind of champagne rose gold shade, which I think is perfect for the holidays. And finally for the skin, I'm just going to go through and uh, spray my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And I'm ready to move on to the eyes. Of course, for a dramatic look like this, I'm going to start out with an eyelid primer and I'm just going to press this in with my finger. The first shadow I'm going to use is by uh, Makeup Geek and the color is Beaches and Cream. I'm just applying this basically to my brow bone area just to be able to blend everything together really nicely. And the next color I'm using is called Creme Brulee. I know this doesn't look much darker than the last color I used, but I'm just starting this out at the crease and then I'm gonna start building darker colors on it, just one little step at a time. And I know a lot of you noticed my funny pinky and I just noticed it, haha. <laughs> now again, gradually darkening it up and the next color I'm using is Latte and this is gonna go into my crease from inner corner to outer corner. And you can see I'm extending this color a little bit into my lid too because when I add the shimmer, I just want it to be a small strip of it. That just looks better with the eyeliner. And finally, the darkest color that I'm gonna use is called Americano. These are all by Makeup Geek. Um, and this is going to be, of course, my most intense color. So 
um, I'm just going to add a little more dimension and depth to that crease. Going back with that first blending brush, I'm just going to go in and uh, just diffuse the edges and make sure that it's all nice and blended. And now moving on to that gold shimmer, I'm going to use the Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop Cosmetics. The color is called Crimper and I'm just going in with my finger to apply this. It's just easiest for me. Uh, I'm starting at the center of my lids and um, extending, kind of blending it with the shadows just with my finger. The texture of the shadow is nice and creamy so it's easy to blend. And I'm going to add a little bit to the inner corner of my eye as well. Okay, here comes the super stressful part, the eyeliner. I'm using my Tarte Tardis Clay Liner and uh, an angled liner brush from Sephora. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. First, I'm gonna map out the shape of the wing and kind of make sure that I like it, and then I'll go back in and fill it in. So I'm starting from the outer corner, going into the inner corner. Usually, I go the other way. Um, so I'm basically just flying by the seat of my pants right now. I didn't plan to do it like this, but I guess it kind of worked. So once I have the uh, shape of the liner down, I'm gonna go in from the inner corner and kind of connect the lines and fill it in. Okay, let's see if I can do a better job of explaining this on the other eye. So again, I'm gonna start at the outer corner and map out the shape and the angle of the wing. And because I have a deeper crease, I really have to pay attention to how the, the wing and the rest of the liner meet at my crease. So here is where I concentrate on creating sort of that little step between uh, the wing and the, the crease, if that makes any sense. So really that was the hard part. From here I'm just going to um, connect the wing with the rest of the liner and um, fill it in all the way to the inner corner. This is why I don't do winged liner looks very often. Look at the concentration on my face. I am terrified. All right, yay, we made it. Now moving on to the bottom lash line, I'm taking that same shadow, Latte, and applying this just with a blending brush to my bottom lash line. Next, using a smudge brush, I'm gonna take Americano, which is the darkest brown that I used, and um, going over that uh, first shadow and just really intensifying the bottom lash line, making it look nice and smoky. And now I'm going back to that liner brush, and first, with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just gonna intensify the bottom lash line a little bit. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm actually gonna go grab more of the liner product and uh, add this to my waterline just to make it look nice and dark. All right, moving on to the mascara, I'm just gonna apply a very basic coat of mascara to my top lashes. And for the bottom lashes, I am gonna focus on making them really, really long. And for the false lashes, I'm gonna use one of my favorites, the House of Lashes Noir Fairy. This is just perfect for a winged liner look. Of course, you don't have to use false lashes. I just do because this is a pretty thick winged liner, so my natural lashes don't really show. So as usual, I'm just gonna lower the lashes onto my lash line and secure the inner and the outer edges, corners. Edges? No, corners. And now my brows just need a little bit of filling, not too much. I'm just gonna go in and fill in any um, bald spots, I guess. For some reason, my brows shed too. I'm sure a lot of you experience that as well. So I'm just gonna clean them up, like make them look nice and polished. What a surprise, I'm using lip liner. I never use lip liner. Um, this is by ColourPop and the color is called Chi Chi. It's very, very close to the actual lip product I'm using. All right, I look really crazy here, but we're about to fix that. I'm applying the Tarte um, brand new matte lip color in Cray Cray. It is such a comfortable matte lip color. It's nice and creamy, it doesn't dry out, and the color is my absolute favorite. So that's it for this holiday makeup look. It's a little dramatic, a little fun, and I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you think, and of course, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys very soon. Love you.